Hello listeners. Mr. Bookman here. Before we get to today's story, subscribe to the channel and click the like button. You can now follow me on Facebook. The link is in the description. I just read that the average person spends 3 hours a day on their cell phones. Now everyone including you can use their cell phones to make 25 or even up to $50 an hour with social media jobs. No experience required to work your own hours from anywhere in the world. Click the link in the description to start making money right now. Now let's dive right into today's book. Coffee Break Collection 16 Crime This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org murder at the lake here's all we've been able to learn professor i wish you'd see what you can make of it said sheriff darrow garden's cottage fronts the lake at a point about halfway between the head and foot of its mile length a strong east wind off the lake that morning caused him and his two guests to abandon their proposed fishing trip Garden remained behind while Rice and Johnson set off hiking in opposite directions. Rice said that fifteen minutes later, as he was retrieving his hat which had blown into the lake, he heard a shot and hurried to the cottage. There he found Johnson, with blood on his hands, bending over Garden, who had been shot through the heart. Johnson said he had gone only about two hundred yards when he heard the shot and rushed back. He claims he got the blood on his hands when ascertaining if Garden were alive. He also admits moving some furniture, although cautioned against it by Rice. Fortunately for Rice, we found his hat still wet, but discovered he had changed his shirt before the arrival of the police. He had also gone through Garden's desk, but said he removed nothing. Both men entered through the back door, though the front entrance was more convenient. We haven't found a gun or any other weapon, and we haven't been able to establish a motive yet, concluded Darrow. What do you make of it? It's a bit muddled, Sheriff, replied Fordney, but I would question someone further. Of whom was he definitely suspicious, and why? A strong east wind blew off the lake. Therefore, regardless of the direction in which he was walking, Rice's hat could not possibly have blown into the lake. The professor was naturally suspicious of him when he told such a ridiculous lie. Is possible, sits the wind in that corner? Shakespeare End of Murder at the Lake Well, listeners, it looks like we have come to the end of the story. On your way out, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click on the link in the description if you want to start making money right now with social media jobs. Just know you are appreciated. Mr. Bookman is now signing off.